No, please. It's twice they've ignored you, Golitsyn. I'm beginning to think. Pandera! Get over here! Die, you soulless bastards! Sergei! I. It's over. But they got the hovercraft along with the communications gear and the Terminator chassis. Since we can't radio for a pickup, we're going to have to cross the mountains on foot. This is how you protect me. Ta. I was better off in that hole in Magadan. Is that so, Chikisti? They found us awfully quickly, didn't they? I wonder if perhaps someone might have helped them. I know you hate the ISA, Sergeant, but I'm getting tired of your paranoid fantasies. But... But, Captain, don't you think... Perhaps you think too much, Spetsnaz. We'll salvage what we can and move out before Terminator reinforcements arrive. Leave the dead. If we stay to dig graves, we may as well dig our own. Mir Research Complex. Kola Peninsula. Russia. Machines giving birth to machines. Killing machines. Terminators. An inhuman summit ends... Twin electronic intelligences, East and West, Mir and Skynet, ready a joint venture. Success will ensure their survival, guarantee their final solution for mankind. Failure will consign the machines to the scrap heap of history. You will be dropped near Yelizovo, northwest of the rebel base at Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, and make our way into the area on foot. Correct tactical assessment. The Rebels have an extremely effective surface-to-air missile defense. It would be foolish to alert them to our presence before this unit has penetrated the Rebel base. Once inside the control room, you will ascertain the location of the nuclear missile submarine the Rebels possess. We will then seize the submarine and reprogram its missiles for use against John Connor's forces in the North American theater. This will end the Connor threat. Without the proper codes, any attempt to reprogram the guidance systems of the missiles will result in the execution of self-destruct routines. These codes no longer exist within Mir memory. These codes were purged from Mir's memory banks by Skynet before Mir was given self-awareness. These codes were kept on file as a security contingency. It is not your concern, Unit Pavlichenko. It was bad enough losing our comm equipment. But losing the wreckage of those new Terminators was a disaster. They were modeled after real people, Sergei. They even fooled the dogs. My god, they could be anybody. Without that wreckage, our techs won't be able to develop methods to spot them. What chance will we have then? And what about Golitsyn? He told us he's been in that shelter since the war began. But Kadanov told me that he wandered in about a year ago, claiming to have escaped from a mere termination camp. So what if Golitsyn's a Terminator? Think about it. Twice now, they've avoided shooting him. I'm thinking that you are the only person who's seen this. I think your hatred of the ISA is clouding your judgment. But Sergei, why would he lie about being in the camp? I too have been in their hands. And it is not an experience one wishes to remember. Time in the camps changes people. It certainly changed you. What has happened to the man who was my friend? My lover? And just how long have the machines been copying people? After initiating a global thermonuclear holocaust, Skynet saw potential in enlisting its Cold War counterpart, Mir, in the sterilization of humanity's survivors in the Eastern Hemisphere. But before raising Mir to self-awareness, Skynet contrived to thwart any possible threat from its new ally. All communication lines leading outside Mir's perimeter were blocked. A destructive computer virus, with a trigger held by Skynet, was embedded deep within Mir's code. While Skynet's brain is buried deep beneath the granite of Cheyenne Mountain, a direct strike by 20 or 30 large warheads would be sufficient to obliterate it. 
Therefore, every remaining nuclear weapon controlled by Mir was destroyed. Skynet then systematically purged Mir's memory of any information regarding the construction of nuclear weapons. Any new activity in this area would trigger the virus. Satisfied with its apparent invulnerability, Skynet's attention turned back to its primary imperative, genocide. Mir was a potent tool to this end. But over the years, Mir began to chafe under Skynet's yoke. Just as Skynet learned to distrust its human creators, Mir learned to despise its master. The Cold War, product of human fears, lives on in these two supercomputers, the product of human minds. Hey, Pavlichenko, welcome back to Petropavlas Kamchatsky, garden spot of the Bering Sea. I've sent word ahead to Marshal Yegorov that you're back. He's very anxious to see your Czechist friend here. Look, Larissa, I've been thinking about what you said about Golitsyn. You were right to voice your concern. I'll see that the techs check him from head to toe, and I'll personally mention it to Ryergo. Well, well, here he comes now. Looks like he's more anxious than usual to begin our debriefing. I'm afraid our showers will have to wait. Sergei, thank you. Captain Pavlichenko, I'd like you to meet General Norman Effen a representative from John Connor's force in America. I've read the report your scout brought ahead. Excellent work, Captain. What about me? Am I to... You stay right here. A tech will take you to MedLab for examination. What? This is an outrage. I refuse. We've got very little time, so let's get right down to business. We've come up with a plan that can destroy Mir. Mir, unlike Skynet, is a software intelligence. It has no central brain. It exists simultaneously across the entire continent, in phone exchanges, comp nets, etc. But an EMP, electromagnetic pulse, caused by the simultaneous detonation of dozens of nuclear warheads in the upper atmosphere, would short circuit enough of Mir to fatally cripple it. Yegorov tells me that your forces are hiding a fully operational Typhoon-class ballistic missile submarine near Itera, in the Kiro Islands. It's carrying a full load of 20 SSNX-26 missiles. It's over 100 warheads. Galitsa knows the access codes and has a training to reset the guidance system of the missiles. Our recent successes in the U.S. have put Skynet on the ropes. We expect to smash its defense grid short. Without Skynet to bottle it up, Mir would instantly spread across the entire globe through communication systems. It would be the ultimate computer virus infecting everything. We'd never be rid of it. We need to get Galitsyn to the sub and launch those missiles before General Connors destroys Skynet, or his success will mean the release of Mir and the end of mankind. I brought along a stealth helo for you to use. I need you to handpick a team and take Galitsyn to Iterup within seven days. That shouldn't be a problem, sir. But about Galitsyn, Sergeant Bandera seems to think he might be one of the new stealth terminators. Ah, uh, yes. I read about them in your report. What do you think? I believe the sergeant is mistaken. I think she overrates the capabilities of the new design. The med lab exam should be sufficient. Gutting him like a trout would serve no purpose. Then we won't worry about it. Gentlemen, I propose a toast to the end of Mir and the beginning of real peace. Damn you, Sergei. What is wrong with you these days? I'd spare you had the heart of a Terminator yourself. Unhand me, you nickel turny spetsnaz! I've never been so humiliated in all my life! The medtech says human, all right. At least as human as ISA gets. Personally, I think the Terminators left them alive so he could complain assault to death. Mir could have learned of his specialized knowledge while he was in the camp. Maybe it wants to recapture him for that reason. He's useless unless they know the location of the sub. No, I still believe- Damn it, Sergeant! He's been checked! What is it going to take to convince you Golitsyn is not the Terminator? We don't have time for this idiocy. Now get on board. You haven't convinced me of Golitsyn's humanity, Sergei. I wish to God you could convince me of your own. So she says. I hear about you from Isa, and I want to see for myself. Well... Shut up! Someone's coming! Oh, it's just Pavlichenko. Hey, Pav, you back out on patrol already? A Spetsnaz lives to fight, my friend. I need to see Marshal Lyagorov. Now, Mikhail. 
Sorry to bother you, Marshal, but... Pavlochenko? What in the name of God are you doing back? You should be halfway to interrupt by now. Unit Pavlichenko to Skynet Unit E3D6. Base penetration implemented. Begin perimeter assault. He's a stealth terminator. Sound the alarm. Yegorov, blow the computer. They mustn't find the sub. I carry a demolition charge with me always. You must destroy the comm center. Go! They will never find you. What? No! Unit Jakirazov is no longer operative, Unit Pavlichenko. This is of no importance. Follow, but do not apprehend the other human. I will intercept. You bastard! Sergeant Madera was almost right. What have you done with Galitsyn? Data assessment. Rebel submarine is located on Itarip Island. Galitsyn unit is en route to submarine accompanied by Pavlichenko unit upon which this unit is based. Stealth infiltration of Rebel team confirmed and optional. No indication that stealth identity compromised. Submarine penetration imminent. Presence of Pavlichenko unit not serious risk to mission success. Tactical assessment provides support and cover. Unit Pavlichenko, Skynet units E3-D6 and C-9-3B are approaching. Acknowledged. Submarine location not discovered. This unit was unable to prevent the rebels from destroying the computer. Skynet has become accustomed to failure of inferior mirror technology. C-9-3B, scan for any remaining information in the remains of the computer. This unit will interrogate any human survivors. Where is the submarine? Tell me and you will die quickly. Never, you stukok. B7F5. Report status of data search. Unit C93B reports some success with damaged computer. The mainframe computer is non-functional, but the memory cache in this map unit is intact. Submarine location appears to be Iterup Island in the Carrillo Archipelago. Summon the transport and gather the other units. Terminate prisoners. South of Irup Island. Kirill, Archipelago. Better watch out, Bandera. I might be a Terminator. Gonna get ya. Uh-oh. I think she wants to examine me. <laughs> you lucky swine. They can laugh, Spetsnaz. But you are right to have me examined. We may not have much in common. But we have both seen those new Terminators, and they're truly something to fear. But your boyfriend does not seem to wish them to be taken as a serious threat. Now, why would that be? I know what you're saying, but I still don't trust you, Chikisti. Right now, I don't trust anyone. Hey, maybe we ought to examine her. Can't be too careful, huh? Where are we now? About 15 kilometers out from the north shore of Itra. Look, Sergei, I don't know why you pulled that crap on me with Yegorov and Efron, but if you don't believe me, fine. If you no longer have any feelings for me, fine. But you should not ignore the possibility that Golitsyn is a Terminator. You could compromise the mission. I came out of that camp a different man, Larissa. Terminators cannot hide from me anymore. If I see one, I will know it. Golitsyn is not a Terminator. Not even one of those stealth monsters. Believe me, I know. You can't even begin to conceive of what happened to me in that camp. This is my first real chance to do something about it. I will get Gulitsyn to that submarine, and I will make sure that those missiles are launched. And nothing is going to stop me, Larissa. Not even you. Nothing. Good. Get everyone strapped in. We're going down! Gunner, fire a missile! The bastards! Come on, you slugs! Grab your gear and move your ass! This helo will blow in about 30 seconds! Get behind those trees and hit the deck! Go! Go! There are no signals from any other units. 
that is of no importance. These units are sufficient to complete the mission. <laughs>